Hi guys, this is Aikumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about slots and what is the importance of slots and how to use that in a web component. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. But before going to the Visual Studio Code, I recommend you to watch my previous video of templates so that you will get a better understanding on slots. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Now here, we have created a card web component and previously we have written a template and inside this template I gave one ID and I passed that ID as a message ID and if the message ID exists then we are getting this particular message ID and then we are appending that to our development whatever the data we are passing in the template that will be cloned and appended to my div element. So let me go here and reload. We are not passing anything in the template. So that is the reason only a card is displayed here. So let me pass some content in my template. So let me use a paragraph and hi, how are you? So this is my paragraph. Let me save this, go back and reload. You can see, hi, how are you inside a card? This is a paragraph and I made it as 100%. So I made it as more than 100%. And if you make it to 100%, it looks just like a normal one. But for visuality, I made it to 200%. And now the problem here is, for example, I have this slot. I have this paragraph and it has some style. So inside this style, I have a class name like para and for this para class, I have color as green and there is one more class called as error and this time my color will be something like red. So whenever I'm using this particular paragraph, then I want to render my class as para and whenever I want to show an error so I can use something like error and I can remove this dot and let me show you something like error message or error message and now I have something like I am a info so save this whenever there is an information it should show green color and whenever there is an error it should show something like error message so go here and reload so you are seeing a green color and a red color and the content is constant that means the content whatever we are using here it is every time con uh, every time it is constant that means we cannot change it for example if i use this card web component as a separate component even at that particular time i will see this i am a info and a error message let me reload you can see the two boxes have the same content now if i want to change that based on my usage for example i want to use I am a info instead of I am a info I want to show something like success message in this particular web, web component but when I come to this web component I don't want to show anything whatever the default value we have it should render so in this case this approach will not work out so that is the reason we came up with a concept called as slots so you can give a slot and you can utilize that slot you can override the content of that slot from your web components so for example i have something like a slot and each and every slot will have a name you can give a name for this slot my name is info name and i'll paste this particular slot here because i want to change this content alone so that is the reason i am pasting this slot here and let me hit enter let me copy the same slot and let me paste in between this and let me copy this error message or cut this error message and show here and I'm giving the name as error so whenever that slot name error then it will be showing or it will be replacing this content with the error slot whatever we are passing from our web component if nothing is passed then it will be default so my slots are created let me go here and reload it works the same way now let me go to the top one in the first web component usage i want to use a content that is nothing but a slot with the name so you can use something like a paragraph which i want to send the data i'm using a paragraph success 
message so i am passing a success message and uh, what i want to show this success message should be replaced with this i am a info so what is the slot name here we are using an info so let me copy this and every property can use a attribute called a slot so you can pass this slot attribute to the info now that information will be replaced with this success message and let me copy the same paragraph and this time I'll use error as my slot and this will be something like I am from web component error slot save this and go back reload now your success message has been replaced and I am from the web component error slot but in the below one the second time wherever we are using this web component I am not passing any content so that is the reason it is showing a default values the default values if the slot is not passed from your web component then that particular slot will be having a default value that default value will be rendered on the UI so this is the advantage of using the slots so that you can manage your slot content whenever you are passing from some other web component or some other HTML content. Now you may be asking whether we need to use the slot inside this itself. No, absolutely no. Why? Because it is not restricted to the template tag. It is restricted. It is not restricted to template tag or any other tags you can write the slot anywhere but mostly whenever we are using reusable content it is recommended to use the slots and this is where web components will reuse a lot of content so that is the reason we are using slot tags inside the template tag so if template tag is not rendered i don't want to render the slots also so that is the reason i have placed this card component with within the template tag So we'll see this is my last video in this particular series and for JavaScript web components later we will integrate this particular JavaScript files in our angular or react and we will utilize these web components and we'll see how it renders and also how to create the custom elements in the angular we will see in the same series but for now I'm closing all the concepts which are related to web components in JavaScript so we'll go with the next videos of angular and react web components be st stay tuned for this is stay tuned for this series so hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off and also i want to let you know about techzet techzet is a platform on medium where you can learn all the backend stuff mainly it is focused on the adobe experience management magento as well as osgi along with the basics of java and you can see this link framework completely so just have a click on the link below in the description and have a look on this medium blog if you like please like share follow media blog thank you